Someone could have asked me at age five, Parker, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I would have told them, I want to be a priest. Growing up, I really had no idea of becoming a priest. I loved the church growing up as a child. I would always go to daily mass with grandma, and then I would play mass, dress up as the priest, and go through the mass. And it was actually my uncle, a priest in the Philippines, who inspired me, without him knowing it, to enter the seminary. I felt called to the priesthood to also share uh, myself to the church and to the people of God. I went to USC, and uh, about a, a year after graduating, I entered St. John's Seminary, and it's just been such a blessing. St. John's Seminary has given me so many opportunities to grow. All kinds of development goes on with them. Their theology deepens. The connection between the theology and the scriptures deepens. One of the things a future priest has to be able to do is articulate the faith, to speak from the heart as well as having knowledge in the head. The proclamation of the gospel is everything. So you have to be able uh, to speak and do so in effective ways. I have brothers and sisters who will be ministered to by these men, and uh, I would like them to have uh, priests that are that are good, that are gentle in spirit and passionate about the gospel. Every day here at St. John's is a day filled with activity, but the days that I tend to remember the most are the days when the Archbishop comes and we really seek to build community and fraternity among each other, with games, barbecue, and really build that sense of priestly fraternity. We pray together, we eat together, we uh, hang out together, uh, we minister together. This is home, and this is family. And so these are our brothers and our sisters here. I've met some of my closest friends, uh, some of my friends who know the deepest, darkest secrets of my life, as well as the biggest joys and happiness of my life. Dorm life here at St. John's is such an important piece of our formation. Those late night conversations in the hallway, coming together as a dorm to pray together. And it's important because it's when you're in those, the context of sort of family life, in your room, relaxing, that the beautiful bonds are formed amongst myself and my brother seminarians, and uh, I wouldn't trade that for anything. As of now, we're in the process of trying to remodel um, Joseph Dorm. To house the people that we anticipate in the next year or two, we do need to do this remodeling project now. It's old. It was built original to the seminary, and it hasn't received a lot of love and care in recent years. And the bathrooms definitely, could, they, need a, they need work. Uh, the plumbing in general needs definite work. Just old carpeting, old lighting, old furniture. Our environment here is so critical to us being, feeling at home. It, it would really, it would contribute greatly, I think, to fraternal life here, especially family life in the dorms and whatnot. There is a, a desperate need to take this beautiful facility and upgrade it such that it can serve us well for decades ahead for these men who want to serve the people of God. For the people that make this possible, I'd like to give many thanks. Thank you to all of you who have supported St. John's Seminary through uh, the Cardinals Awards Dinner. I would like to express my gratitude and my thank you for your generosity. Thank you. God bless you all. From all of us at St. John's Seminary, thank you. <laughs>